Hey y'all, so we're back at it again. So we're gonna be looking at two new Fenty products that just kind of hit the market. And I'm gonna be honest, I've had these both since they both dropped. I just late to the party as usual. So today we're gonna be looking at the new Fenty Ease Drop. This is the blur and smooth uh, tint stick that retails for $35. And then I have from Fenty Skin, this is the Blemish um, Defeater uh, BHA Spot Targeting Gel. And it's supposed to be a gel anti-perfections. So we're gonna use these together, see how they do. I'm hoping that Fenty came out with something for us acne prone girls, or these blemish girls, you know. So we'll see what happens with these two products, but we are gonna use them together. But we're going to get into all the details of these products right now. So guys, this is what the Blemish Defeater looks like outside of the packaging. You do get 15 mLs in here or 0.5 fluent ounces. So I have been using this product um, by itself on my blemishes and I can say I will give this an 8 out of 10. Uh, I really do like the product, but I have not tried this. Well, this is what it's supposed to be for you guys. You're supposed to be able to put this underneath your makeup and it's supposed to like blur it so it doesn't look clingy, so it doesn't look so prominent. Um, I'm just hoping that Fenty came out something for us acne prone girls. If so, this will be so sweet, but let's get into some of the details. Okay. Just right quick. So it does retail for $22, you guys. And it says this is the shield and combat blemishes without sacrificing your makeup. The salicylic acid backed spot treating gel fights blemishes, clarifies, reduces, uh, surface oil and guards against environmental um assailants <laughs> it says it's unique jelly texture dries down quickly so you can wear it anytime you want especially under makeup so it just gives another um list of information and it says the lowdown it says it's invisible on all skin tones and under makeup it creates the perfect canvas for makeup it's unique gel texture dries down quickly again without feeling tacky or sticky it improves the appearance of blemishes and reduces the look of pores. It shields and protects blemishes from makeup while um, clearing the skin. It's supposed to calm and soothe troubled skin, clarifies without drying the skin, and it is fragrance-free, cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, fragrance-free. So I can definitely say that it's not drying. I did not have any irritation while using this, no stinging or anything like that. So um, I'm already put together. So I'm trying to think if I want to put my Milk Hydro Grip on because I already done my base. We already got clean skin that has been prepped. I've already put on my Tatcha Water Cream with my Laura Mercier Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer on top of my Tarte. <laughs> um, I have my Tarte uh, Pore Filler on. It's called the Timeless Smoothing Primer all over like my cheek area, um, down here in my frown lines and all that. Um, kind of thinking if I want to put this on before I actually put on the Fenty Skin Blemish Defender, def uh, Defeater. So I'm going to put some of this on and then we'll come back and put some of this Defender or Defeater on, okay? Okay, so I did let my Hydro Grip Primer kind of dry down a little bit. So now we're going to apply the Fenty Blemish Defeater on. So, and then we'll let that dry down. So I can say I haven't seen anybody actually use this product underneath foundation yet. At least I haven't even really seen anybody talk about this product at all. So, and it is new. Like I said, it. it I think it came out. A, it came out a little bit before the um new skin blur tint so we have a couple areas on my skin we'll focus on i have one blemish right here 
one right here. And then I have another one like, I have kind of like a one small one right here. But I don't know if you can really see it, not really. So I've got two like right here. I'm gonna go for And it kind of has like this little flat spatula. It does not move. It's not like flimsy. It's, it's, it's I, guess, I guess it is a little flimsy. So it's just like an applicator, like a little silicone applicator. So it does just like come up a little bit. I think I'm gonna use my finger instead. So my fingers are pretty clean. So not pretty clean, they're clean. But I just took a little bit of that gel. I'm just gonna kind of rub it. And kind of blend it out because I don't want it to be like a pile or something um, because like I said I'm just gonna put this anywhere I see a blemish I've got some really bad ones underneath like my chin and stuff on my neck area um, one thing I can say from using this by itself is that when it dries it kind of has like but I've been using it overnight it kind of has like this film and you can just peel it off so I kind of want to blend the edges out just a little bit so hopefully the application is a lot smoother. Am I making sense? So let's do this other side a little bit more. And I've got some areas over here. I hope you can kind of see them. I'll zoom in on them for you. And hopefully... This will be a new staple in my makeup routine, so. And I don't know what's been going on with my skin lately, but I've been breaking out more than usual. But I think a lot of that has to do with running out of products and not going to get them as soon as I run out. I've just been like, eh, get it when I need to. So I'm gonna let this dry down, and then while we're waiting for this to dry down, we'll talk about the new foundation stick. While my skin is still drying, we're gonna take a look at the new Fenty um, Skin Tint Stick. I keep trying to say foundation, but it's a skin tint stick, okay? So this is what it looks like, very different from typical Fenty um, Packaging, you're really used to that. What is it, a hexagon? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. So this one is just like clear, very sleek. It is plastic, which is, you know, just a little something different. Um, so this, like I said, retails for $35. It does come in 25 shades, I believe it is. You guys, I do have this in the shade 16, which is the same exact match as the liquid um, skin tint that they have out. So just a little bit of information. So it says it's supposed to be a natural skin flex fast. It's supposed to be light coverage, long wear formula that melts effort effortlessly into the skin. It's supposed to have a natural finish. It's supposed to be creamy and smooths texture, instantly blurs. I need all of that. Um, it says just swipe, blend, and then, um, and let them wonder what your secret is. <laughs> okay, so a couple more um, things about the product. Like I said, we already said it was long wear, lightweight, uh, buildable coverage. It's supposed to resist fading and transferring. Um, hmm, it's got the Mumuru butter that melts that helps protect the skin and hydrate the skin all day. It's supposed to have a click blur complex that delivers a blur and smooth second skin finish. Um, and it says sodium, um, what is that? Hyaluronate, hyaluronate, how can't even say that, um, helps provide hydration and it has true color pigments to help, um, resist oxidation. It says the packaging is supposed to be 100% recyclable. So that's, that's nice. Um, what else about this? 100% cruelty free. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. So let's open her up. Like I said, I got, um, matched with this one. They actually did not have the product on the floor yet in Sephora. And, uh, oh, so that's the whole stick, you guys. Very interesting. I'm just gonna 
you know, bring it back down because we don't want any issues. But that's what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes for this to completely dry down and then we will get into the application. Let's get into this application, you guys. I do have the Fenty foundation brush. This is number um, 115. So I wanted something a little more dense. So this says it's supposed to be lightweight. I typically don't do foundation sticks because they're just so heavy on the skin. But let's just try this out. We'll see how much it blurs, see how much it covers up all of these imperfections and hopefully the um defender actually kind of helps how this looks now this is kind of what it kind of is looking like right now and i'm gonna say it doesn't look bad i will say like it's not it's not invisible but it is less noticeable so let's try these two products together okay so just kind of running this down in my cheek area and we'll give it a little dab. I can say it doesn't feel heavy. I barely like noticing the product. I mean, I can feel that it's there, but it's not super heavy. Not bad. Let's see how it does on this little acne area down here. I can already see the product lifting up with the Defender and I'm not liking it. And we're all the way dry. So that might be a um, false claim. <laughs> um, we're just gonna continue. It's kind of doing what I told you it does before is like when I wake up in the morning, I notice that there's like it basically, you know how you let glue sit on your skin when you're a kid, like in elementary school, and you would just like peel it up. That's what it's doing. Um, that same thing that I see in the morning time, I just kind of want to just want to peel it off, but I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for now and do the rest of my face. And we'll just move on until the whole application is like complete, okay? Because I don't see myself really dragging this. Like, and I'm just like stippling. I'm not like lifting the product up by going like rubbing it in. I mean, even if I was, it shouldn't be doing all that, but. It has pretty nice coverage, I'd have to say. Like, look at this side compared to this side. It is giving some radiance. I'm not really into the radiance because I am like oily combination skin. Um, it's not bad though. Like, I you could usually leave, use this like by itself and just like go out the door. Like, if that's what I was gonna use it for, like. That's what I would do. I would like I wouldn't do this like full glam type of thing with this stick. Um yeah, I feel like this is just like one of those go out the door and be done type of thing. So yeah. So this is kind of like how it's looking right now, guys. So Let's finish up the other side of the face, okay? Keep me safe, safe 
Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like up close and personal, 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 personal. Um, It is a good match. Very good match for my neck and all that. But look at this flaking. You see how it's coming up on my skin? Like I can literally just peel this up if I wanted to. Like literally, it's just, it's just peeling up. So other than that, I do like these products separately. I do feel like, I don't know, I want to say, I feel like there's a little patchiness to this product. And I'm only saying that because as a acne prone girl who has blemishes, like, I like to see people who have imperfections use these products because then I know like is it gonna look okay on me like it's not covering up all of my dark hyperpigmentation like right here on my nose um I have a little mark right there it's not covering up that but it definitely looks skin like so the disclaimers are not you know lying but this is what it's looking like and besides where I put that defeater at it actually looks really nice i have to say it looks very natural so if your thing is like putting something on just to like go out the door i would definitely recommend this i'm sorry for the wobbliness i just really want you guys to like get in here and kind of see everything so i almost want to take this off and reapply it and yeah because this is just unsightly and I did allow this to dry it was over see there it goes over 10 minutes almost 20 minutes and it's coming right back up now I don't know if putting this on with a liquid foundation makes a difference but definitely the stick mm -mm, it's not working um yeah unfortunately you guys it's just like the products together are no separately they work beautiful So you tell me, and I did not really rub, if you see like the line right, I didn't like rub this down into my neck, um, only be because of like the flake, it's no point, like it's no point of like doing that. But if I do it like back here, it blends very well, okay? But up here, you can see the line where I didn't like blur this out. So guys, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to give my final thoughts right now. Okay, so this is the final look I tried to finesse for you guys. I did use all Fenty products and I did set this and setting this kind of took away from the blush because I did use my Fenty um, cream bl blush. I did use my cream bronzer and all that. Um, I did not contour my nose or anything like that, but I would have to say, like, looking at myself, like, right here, I have to have to say, like, yes, it looks very natural, um, very skin-like, very, like, no makeup, uh, makeup type of look. Um, it does, doesn't look bad. It does have a radiant finish, though, you guys, so with me having that oily, combination skin i can already see it like getting oily up in here um you know that's why i kind of like i kind of prefer to watch people like little people like me talk about foundations and stuff like that and products because like a lot of these people be like finesse and stuff you know for us so um i still think it looks a little patchy in some areas even though I know the patchiness on my chin area, that's 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 not what I'm looking at. But like on my lip, around my nose, 
um my eye area it, it looks a little patchy now you can't tell from back here but from up here i can tell i kind of want to give this a second run um just without um the uh fenty skin products which i was kind of hoping that wasn't going to be a flop but it definitely was a flop with the foundation stick now i will try and do this again probably with a liquid and maybe with the liquid it kind of like you know does a little better i don't know but it was definitely a flop with the uh, makeup the product itself though by itself is amazing i love it for blemishes and spots and stuff like that by itself amazing with makeup eh, not i'm not gonna at this point i'm not going to recommend that to you um but with the foundation or keep calling this foundation this tint stick um i i like it it's not it's not heavy. I don't feel it on my skin. It's different. It's definitely different. Is it better than the liquid? I don't think so. I think the liquid is way better than the stick. I'm just being honest with you. Um, I'm not really seeing the blurring effect of this. If you have... Now... And I have to take in consideration, like, the different skin areas. Like, my forehead looks way better than the rest of my skin because it doesn't have huge pores. It doesn't have blemishes coming through, hyperpigmentation coming through. So, as I'm looking at that, it looks really nice. If you have skin that's, like, flawless, you're going to love this product. But for somebody like me who has, as you see, texture, hyperpigmentation, oily skin, large pores, I just feel like it kind of like just, it's kind of exaggerate in those areas a little bit for me. Um, like I said, I want to give this a second run. These are just my thoughts. You don't have to agree. Um, you can get this product and try it out for yourself and see how you like it. But for me, it's a, mm, like, mm, like, I just, even with, like, my products, it just, it's just not giving what I would like it to give for 35 freaking dollars. Um, this is kind of pretty much, like, I feel like $10 would have been a lot better. 15 yeah, maybe 15 but like $35? I don't think it's really worth it. Especially, I'm just saying, like, just for me, as an oily girl, it's not doing it for me. Um, like I said, I finessed this as much as I could. I did not touch the under areas of my neck and all of that. So, I'm just going to bring you in a little closer. So then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Because I don't want you to be like, oh, she's just talking stuff. Look at my skin, you guys. The oiliness. And I set this with powder. is coming through. And I have primer on. I have all my products on. It's just not... <clears throat> See what I mean by like it being kind of patchy in certain areas? Like, I just, I don't know. Like I said, from back here, she looks cute. But all, mm, you can see how it did from the pigmentation, the hyperpigmentation underneath my chin. It did okay. It, did, did, it does have some coverage. It's not bad. It's just going to be a very select people who are really going to like this now if I had flawless skin no pores then yes I would like this and the reason why I know I would like this is because my forehead looks glorious it is like the least flawed area on my face don't mind minus the wrinkles okay um but yeah so yeah I will leave a list of everything that I used 
to get this look. It's really not a look. It's kind of more of a finesse. Um, but um, yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I had high hopes for both of these products working together. But you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this is a time it really just didn't do anything for me, you guys. Um, I will definitely keep trying this if I um, feel like there are some things that I, you know, would do differently. Then I'll make a second video regarding um, this product. But as of right now, together, it's a no. Separately, they're okay. They're okay. Okay, guys. So I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.